Welcome to the Getting Started with Insmart video. Now, the purpose of this video is to help you understand the logistics of how to get started using the Insmark Illustration System and the Wealthy and Wise System, Insmark's two most popular software programs. We can't emphasize enough the importance of watching this video from start to end at least once. It will really help you learn how to create great sales presentations for your clients. Now, I also want to mention one other point. Almost anything new is hard at first. I remember the first few times I tried to use Facebook, I thought my head was going to explode. Now, Facebook's super easy for me, even on a smartphone. So, my point is that once you get the hang of how the Insmark platform works, it will become very easy to use. But you must get through the initial learning curve and understand the fundamentals of how the Insmark platform works. To do this, you need to go through this video from start to end. And this will give you an orientation towards how you get information from your carrier's proposal software into the Insmark software, how to store cases, and the basic structure of how you get around in the software. This video is about 15 minutes long, but that investment of time now will pay huge dividends to you and your staff and increase productivity in the future. Okay, now one more very important thing that we should discuss before we get started. At the end of this Getting Started with Insmark video, I will explain how to determine which Insmark presentation should be used in different client situations and also give you a roadmap on exactly how to recreate those Insmark presentations for your clients. So let's get started. After you purchase your Insmark software, you will get an email from Insmark with very clear instructions on how to install the software and get help from Insmark technical support people if you need it. Next, I want to take you through the linking process from car the carrier to the Insmark software. So, we're going to look at this diagram. And what you'll see here is the first thing that you have to do is run your carrier's proposal. So your premiums and create your cash values and death benefits for whatever case you're building. After you run your carrier's proposal software, you're going to link over to Insmark uh, and transfer all that policy data automatically into the Insmark platform. Once you're at the Insmark platform, then you can decide if you're going to uh, send that uh, policy data into the Insmark Illustration System or Wealthy & Wise or one of the other Insmark software products. For those of you who use WinFlex in the brokerage market, uh, that is an overlay, as you know, on top of multiple different insurance company carrier software, and it works in a very similar way. You run the WinFlex proposal, and then for those insurance companies that have the link to Insmark, there'll be an option to launch to Insmark, and then the policy data will automatically transfer over to the Insmark platform. Now, if your carrier does not link to Insmark, all is not lost. Specifically, if you purchase the Insmark software directly from Insmark's retail sales department, then you have what's called an open system. And there is a place in the Insmark software where you can key in the carrier proposal policy data. I'll show you how to do this in a few minutes. If you are not sure if your carrier links to Insmark, go to the website shown on the screen and you can see every life insurance company that currently links to Ensmark, along with information about who to contact in your home office to make sure that you have the version of your carrier's software that is a special electronic link to Ensmark. And this home office person can also help you with the process of linking to Ensmark after running the carrier proposal, as different carrier software does this different ways and you may need a little help the first time. If a carrier that you want to use is not shown on this website, it means that your carrier is not currently linked to Ensmark. And in this case, please call David Grant at Ensmark to discuss this situation and get the current status of getting your carrier linked. Now, in addition to linking from your carrier software or WinFlex over to Ensmark, you can also go into the Ensmark software directly. So I'm going to show you that right now. Now, one way you can do it, and I'm just going to minimize these so we can get a good clear view of this, I'm going to bring over this podium and, and type this in so I can show you how this works. What you do is you go to your Windows Start button and you type in Insmark, I-N-S-M-A-R-K, and then it'll find the Insmark system. So I just hit the Enter key. And what you'll see, I'll move this out of the way, what you're going to see is it brings up the Insmark Start screen. So instead of going to the carrier software, running the proposal, linking over to Insmark, what happened here was we just went to the Windows Start menu, typed in Insmark, and came into the Insmark platform directly. So I'm going to exit out of this. I'm going to show you another option. Another option for going into Insmark directly is after you install the Insmark software, there'll be an Insmark icon that you can copy to your taskbar that essentially does the same thing. So I'm going to click on that, back up, 
directly into the Insmark start screen. For now, just remember that if you access the Insmark platform directly, you're not linking from the carrier software or WinFlex, which means you're not bringing over any carrier proposal data with you. See at the top where it says, no life insurance data detected? And that's fine. When you, either, when you want to go back into Insmark and work on cases you've stored in the past, or if you, want to, if you have an open Insmark system uh, that you bought directly from Insmark that allows you to key in carrier proposal data in the Insmark platform, that's super useful when you're entering carrier data um, from life insurance companies that are not currently linked to Insmark. Now, one more comment on this Insmark start screen. Some of the system choices on your system may be grayed out. And this just means that you have not purchased those Insmark software products. You can always contact Insmark or go to insmark.com if you ever want to get additional Insmark software products that you don't currently have access to. In any case, whether you link over to Insmark from your carrier software or WinFlex or launch Insmark directly, you will always arrive at this Insmark start screen. Okay, so now we're back to the Mondo pad. And I went to my carrier software, I ran my proposal with my cash values and death benefits, and I linked over to Ensmark, and now I've got the same Ensmark start screen, but in this case, see where it says store life insurance data for David Wolf? In other words, it doesn't say no life insurance data detected because I actually went to the carrier, linked over, and now my start screen actually has carrier data with it. So it's asking, the first thing it's asking is, what's my source data notation? And so for this particular case, I'm gonna call this my, my, my client's name, David Wolf, policy number one, because this is the first policy that I'm looking at for Mr. Wolf. And then with that policy data, that case uh, from my carrier, it's saying which of the Ensmark systems do I want to go into, and I'm going to go into the Ensmark illustration system, which is Ensmark's flagship product, so I'm going to click on that. Now, the next thing that the Ensmark system is going to ask you is it's saying, um, what do you want to do in terms of a workbook? Now, with Insmark, when they say workbook, what they mean is that's the place that you can store all your different Insmark presentations for a given client. So in this case, uh, my client is Mr. Wolf. He, um, if I run buy term invested difference comparisons or comparisons to mutual funds or if I do survivor needs analysis or anything I do on Insmark, all of those different cases can be stored in one master workbook on the Insmark platform for my client David Wolf. So in this case, it's saying, do you want to use the last client workbook? Do you want to use a different client workbook that you stored before? Or do you want to create a new client workbook? And it's just saying for the presentations you're going to create now, which workbook do you want those to be stored in? So I'm going to say create a new client workbook. OK. And then it's saying, OK, what do you want to call this workbook? And this is my first presentation or first work for uh, David Wolf, my client. So I'm going to call this workbook the David Wolf Workbook. and then. In the future, all my different Ensmark presentations that I decide to do are going to get stored in this workbook for easy reference. And now we get to the Ensmark illustration system main menu. Okay, so back to the Mondo pad. We've come over, we've run our carrier proposal, we've brought our policy data over, our cash values, death benefits for the case we're working on. Again, our client is David Wolf. And here in the main menu, you've got, it's asking for a proposal description, then it does a summary of uh, the client, the death benefit, and so on. And then down the lower section, you'll see these are the different Insmark main sections for different sales presentations that you can do. So personal insurance, you'll see there's a number of different presentations, everything from comparing term insurance, invest the difference versus the policy. You got various financial alternatives where you can compare your cash value policy to up to four different alternative investments, mutual funds, and so on. Uh, you've got like a cost of waiting presentation, which shows the impact to the client in cash accumulation by waiting a couple years, and various other presentations. Then if we go over to the Executive Benefits tab, you have a number of different business insurance type presentations. There's a split dollar plan, number of different split dollar presentations. Now, these first three tabs have sales presentations where you need the policy data from the carrier proposal run to do the presentation. So they'll be showing the cash values and the death benefits. These last two tabs are calculators and presentations of, of calculators that don't require the policy data. For example, if we go over to InsCalc, you've got IRA calculators and Roth calculators. 
over on the personal needs analysis, you've got survivor needs analysis, educational needs analysis, cash flow analysis. Now, this one uh, retirement needs analysis, this is an important exception. This particular calculator can use policy data. So let's take a quick look at that. As you go into the retirement needs analysis, you'll see that it asks for various information from the client, their current income, how long before retirement, their different assets, and then it'll show how much they have to put away and help you calculate a retirement uh, needs analysis for them. And as you see at the top left, you can include life insurance data or not as part of the solution for the retirement income plan. So back to the personal insurance. What I'm gonna do first, it's asking me for a proposal description. And I'm gonna call this Wolf Innsmark Plan 1. So Wolf Innsmark Plan 1. Because this is my first Innsmark presentation I'm gonna do for my client, David Wolf, that's gonna go on my workbook file. And then what I'm gonna do is just pick one of Innsmark's most basic presentations called Illustration of Values. I'm going to click on there and all I do is click OK. Now it's going to ask me how many years I want to print the proposal, a couple of basic things like tax bracket of the client. Then I'm going to click over here to the Report Selections tab. It gives me sort of the default presentations and then I can pick some other specialized presentations or graphics if I want. And then I click Preview. Now the system will show my presentation. So here's, you know, my nice preface with a graph showing what's going on with the policy. Here I've got my numbers page and some other graphics and so on. Once I'm done previewing my proposal, I can print or I can print to a PDF and email it to the client or the advisor. Now, if I close, this is what I want to show you. If I close this and I click done, you'll see that that illustration of values presentation that we just ran is now stored in the David Wolf workbook file. So that'll be the same way every time, no matter what you do with this particular case, in terms of running different Insmark presentations, it will always come back and store it in that workbook file. So you'll always have everything that you do for that one client in one place. So now that I'm here, again, I'm at the David Wolf workbook file, I can click new and then I can go run a different Insmark presentation again that will be stored here. I can copy this case, edit, delete, preview. There's a whole bunch of different things I can do with this case. Um, and then when I am finished, what I do is just exit out of the Insmark system. And then let's say it's the next day and I decide, you know, I really want to run a different care proposal for Mr. Wolf, maybe different premiums or different death benefit amount. And that's when I go back to where I run my carrier software. I have to link that data over to Insmark. And then um, I come over with a different carrier uh, proposal and I can run a different sales presentation, but again, store it right back into the Wolf workbook file. Okay, so now I'm back at the Insmark start screen with this second carrier proposal and make different premiums, different death benefits for David Wolf, our client. And it's asking me for the source data notation like it did last time. And I'm gonna put in, since this is a different policy proposal suggestion, I'm gonna put in David Wolf policy number two. Maybe it's a different death benefit or different premium mix. I'm gonna click my Innsmark illustration system. And now, this screen that asks me about which workbook file I want to save my presentations, instead of creating a new client workbook file like we did last time, I'm going to use the last client workbook, which is the default choice, because I know the last time I was in here, I was in the David Wolf workbook. So I'm going to say use last client workbook, and then it's going to bring up the David Wolf workbook. And as you can see, that first presentation we ran, that illustration of values, that's stored in there. And now I've brought this, this second policy data over. And if I click New, then I can go over to the Innsmark main menu and run buy term invest a difference comparison or various financial alternatives. Whatever I do will automatically get stored in the David Wolf workbook. Now, this is a key point. Here, under Copy, Edit, Delete, Preview, and Print, all of those choices have to do with whatever Innsmark presentations you've already stored in here. But as you come over with a new case, and you want to run Insmark presentations with that new case, you've got to click New, which is what I'm going to do now. And now I'm back to the Insmark 
main menu. And as we talked about before, there's several different sales presentations that I can do. And the great thing is, whatever sales presentations that I run, when I do the preview and then come back, they will automatically be stored in the David Wolf workbook. Next, I'm going to show you how to come into Ensmark directly and then enter carrier proposal data on your own. If you have the retail version of the Ensmark software and you are working with a life insurance company where they don't currently link to Ensmark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit from the main menu, exit, hit the click, click the red X to exit out of the system. And then as we, as we showed before, I'm going to click the Ensmark launch icon from my taskbar. And now I'm back at the Ensmark start screen. And again, you'll notice no life insurance data detected because I went directly into Ensmark. And I'm going to click on the Ensmark illustration system. And now it's asking me which workbook do I want to work with. And I, let's pretend I've got a new client, uh, Mr. Jones. So I'm going to create a new, create a new client workbook. And we'll call this, because it'll ask us to give it a name, we'll call this Jones Workbook. Okay? And I'm going to click OK. And now I'm back at the Ensmark main menu. But because I didn't bring any carrier data with me, I've got a I've got a printout maybe from the carrier's proposal software. I'm going to click change and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to enter new, which will allow me to key in that carrier's policy data. So I'm going to click new and then you'll see there's five different tabs. You've got your insured data where you put in the client's name and age, policy details, the name of the insurance company, the product, uh, the footnote you want to put in, then here's where you enter in your premiums, your loans and withdrawals. And finally, here's where you enter in your surrender values and your death benefits. And the great thing on the left side is there's some speed keys that make this um, uh, pretty, pretty fast to enter this data. And it's not as good as having a link from the carrier where it's automatic, electronic. Okay, now one more thing before we leave this data entry section of the Ensmark illustration system. I've switched to full view so you can see this more clearly. If your carrier is not linked to Ensmark, try printing your carrier's proposal illustration to a PDF file. Then you can copy and paste the illustration data over to the Ensmark system automatically. Let me show you how to do this now. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click over to my PDF file that I printed for my carrier's proposal, and I'm going to hold down the Control and Alt key, and then I'm going to copy my accumulation and surrender values, and I'm just going to do the first 20 years to show you how this works. Then I release the Control Alt, right click, and copy. Now I'm going to go back to my Ensmark illustration, click into the first year of the accumulation value, and I'm going to click the little paste icon up in the top left. And see there, that automatically entered my first 20 years of my accumulation value and my surrender value. Now let's do this one more time. I'm going to copy over the death benefit. So I'm going to go back to my PDF file. I'm going to Control Alt, hold down the Control Alt. I'm going to copy, let me click off that, I'm going to copy the first 20 years of the death benefit. Now, obviously, if this is an increasing death benefit, that would really be helpful. Right click, copy, back to my ends mark, click in the first year of the death benefit, and click my little paste button. So that is how you copy data over from a PDF file. Anyway, I'm going to cancel out of this. So now you kind of see sort of how that works. Um, so let's summarize. In this video, we've explained how to transfer the proposal data from the carrier over to Ensmark, or just go into Ensmark directly, and then we learned the process of creating workbooks. We also learned how to enter proposal data by hand if you're working with a carrier that doesn't electronically link to Ensmark. We've gone over how to get the Ensmark illustration system main menu, and then identified where all the different Ensmark presentation modules can be found off that main menu. Also in this video, once we arrived at the Ensmark start screen, we have focused on the Ensmark illustration system. That said, if you selected Wealthy and Wise or one of the other Ensmark software products, you would just choose that option, and then the principles of bringing over carrier data and creating workbooks and storing carrier proposal data are similar. Okay, now that you've completed this getting started with Ensmark video, the real fun begins. As you recall, I promised at the beginning of this video, I promised you that I was going to explain the best way to learn the different Ensmark sales presentations, how and when they are applicable for different clients, and then also give you a resource that would show you exactly how to recreate these presentations using the Ensmark software. 
As you may know, Innsmark has been publishing a weekly blog by Bob Ritter. These blogs provide a combination of great sales ideas using cash value life insurance, along with the Innsmark sales presentations needed to implement those concepts with your clients. So, to get to the Innsmark blog, go to innsmarkblog.com, and I'm going to show you that website now. Now you will notice that some of the blogs in the blog archive will have a little video tutorial icon to the right. So, as we complete video training tutorials for these blogs, this little icon will appear. And then, if you click on a blog that has a video tutorial icon, such as blog number 83, Crystal Clear Alternatives, then you will come to this blog page where you see the three videos at the top. The first video on the left is a summary of this blog and the sales concepts that are described in it. The middle video is the Getting Started with Innsmark video that you're watching now. And the video on the right is the Presentation Keystrokes video where we go through every single keystroke from the main menu of different of the Innsmark system or Wealthy and Wise, every single keystroke you need to recreate the presentations that are included with this specific blog, in this case, blog number 83. To summarize, with the blog archive and the video tutorials, you now have a step-by-step -step process to learn and create these powerful Innsmark sales presentations for your clients. So good luck and good selling.